Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Fighting out of Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Presenting the challenger, Jumbo. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fighting. You ready? So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. It looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. And he lands a punch there, pretty good connection by him. Great connection, he's in a great flow right now. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage and his side right there with that punch. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, 
Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Well, he missed with that right hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kiss. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he's taking. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, nice. We cross the midpoint in round one. Big kick lands. Right on the button. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Lands the right hand. Another clinch position. Watch for the tricky trips that he uses when he's in close. Liver kick. Nice kick. Out of range with the big right hand. Come on, push, push. Nice head kick. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is the technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands often. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so good. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Nice one, two there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. One minute to go here in the opening round. Oh, he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at the cheap throw is crazy. And they separate. Look at the whip action that comes in for that kick. 30 seconds to go. Another shot lands upstairs. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Excellent land by him there with the uppercut. If he had changed the angle, that could have been a knockdown. I mean, he threw every part of himself into that strike. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, folks, here we go with our next round. And in terms of his output and his efficiency with his significant strikes in the previous round, you can argue that was the best five-minute stretch of his UFC point. Oh, absolutely the best five minutes he has ever had. He was in a zone. Everything he threw was just landing and landing with vicious intent. He's got to feel confident as he gets off the stool for the beginning of this round. 
Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Strong hook lands. Unable to connect with the right hand. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well that he drops a big right hand after he may be able to finish his fight. Can't take many of those. You better check. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Body kick now by Nermago Meadow. Nice punch lands over the top. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Way to hide that leg kick. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dog. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Caught that. Now, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching on the head, that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Nice. Keep moving. Take shot. Now, take shot. Oh, a huge block there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Left hand punch in the clinch. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Let's set up that high kick now. Look at the turtle in that kick. Good strike there by Nermago Meta. Relax and set it up. Be patient. That's a huge block there. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. Big kick. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Nermago Meta. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Seconds. Final seconds here of round two. Nice. Ten yeah. minutes in one the more, books. One more, one more. All right, that horn marks the end of the round. There was a lot to like really on both sides, but particularly that Superman punch, an absolute thing of beauty. Beautiful attack. Her ability to let loose in the octagon is truly a sight to behold. Not many people 
are willing to try something so risky. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nurmagomedov gets stoned by that leg kick. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Misses there with the left. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big kick lands. Back and forth we go. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. You don't know what that leg kick's coming. Oh, single collar tie here. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Jermago Medov gets caught by that straight punch there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Man, his counters are on point tonight. The jab is good. Oh, nice land there by Nermago Medov. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. And that's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. Oh, he heard a bell in the jab. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Wow. And that one certainly found the target. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. Oh, big left hand there. Single collar tie. Oh, oh, big knee there. Oh, big elbow. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Leg kick. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Lands with the right hand. Misses with the kick. Nurmagomedov gets caught by that straight punch. Beautifully landed by the opposition. 
Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has... Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent, trying to stay upright. But, man, that changed the complexion of this one. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. And he comes through with a big knee. What a round! All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. Losing standing. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible right, five. Ready? And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the upper hand. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. He blocks the shot. Hands on your face. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And they separate. Oh, beautiful counter jab upstairs for him there. He's got the reach advantage, and that certainly helped him in that exchange. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. You got to check these low leg kicks. Now connects with the right. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this one. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. You got it, Dick D. Nice head kick. Just out of range with that right hand. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Ooh, blocks the shot. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Medov gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Nermago Medov. Looking to set up a knee of his own. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, double jab there by Nermago Meta. Nice defense there, huge block. Whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice straight left. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Pretty 
Good right hand. Caught the kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Right hand on point. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your Back and forth we go! Nermago Medov gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Big leg kick land. When you're in a pitch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Scott goes into this last round, you hear me? We're losing this all right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Fourth we go. Big kick land. The slip and then the counter by Nermago Man. Checks that leg kick. Nermago Medov gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and punches. He's doing a great job. Big power shot there. I mean, over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Ooh, what a punch. Under three minutes now to go round five. Let's go. Oh man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Oh, he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. Change the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's side. Beat his leg up. Under two minutes remain in the fight. Nice kick. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Oh, 
over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Nice strike. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Lands a big elbow there. All right, less than a minute to go now in this fifth and final round. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. And they separate. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his body? His opponent will likely continue to attack. Nice loop and punch. He blocks the punch. Got clip with the right hand. All right, single collar tie now. And now he's got that tie clinch. And they separate. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he landed. All right, so the championship fight goes the distance as we get you some highlights here. And I do believe the champion will walk out the way he came in as the undisputed best in the world. He is one of the most talented mixed martial artists we have ever seen in the UFC's octagon. He takes every challenge head on. And tonight he got pushed but I think he did just enough to maintain his title. All right, it looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still... So a big result for a big man tonight as his star continues to shine. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion. Of the, the baddest man on the planet is standing in the middle of that octagon right now. Over and over, you see him.